All right, perfect. All right, so Jane, you said that you were in EuroCAD, right? Uh, yeah. Now, do you know, let me get your entry. Where did you enter at? Hold on, let me pull it up on my computer. So in case you ask me to share. Yep. Well, sure, yeah, 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 you can share it if you want. You can share your screen. I'll go ahead and stop sharing. Okay. Christina, Christina, how you doing? Hey, I'm good, I'm good. Perfect, thanks for joining. Of course. Christina, did you get a chance to watch my latest video on Fibonacci? Oh my God, no. Oh my, I think that's my best work that I just dropped today. Oh man, you know I'm excited. My best work, and if you watch the entire video, there's a free trade alert at the end. Oh snap! Mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch that. All right, Van, Van, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the call, Van. Hey, Mehmet. Perfect, perfect. All right, so what we're doing right now, um, Jane is showing her screen, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to help her identify what went wrong in this trade setup. So she's looking for EuroCAD. She's been in this trade for about uh, two weeks now, right? Oh, two weeks. Yeah. See, we're gonna teach you how to hold a trade long-term, but hold it in the right direction. Yeah. I just started uh, actually holding my trades. <laughs> you know me, are you also such, such a you, scalper? You're a scalper, yep, I know. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice screen selection, color selection, beautiful. Mm -hmm. looks, looks like cotton candy. The only thing I did right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to make sure you get it right. Don't worry. All right, so what I want you to do is at the top of your screen, mm -hmm. okay, um, iPhone user, iPhone user, welcome, welcome to the call. Uh, we're looking at um, EuroCAD right now. At the top of your screen, uh, right where you see the plus button is, you see where the clock is? I want you to, no, no, over to the right-hand side. I want you to shift your screen over. So right it right side? Yeah, but look right in the middle. Right here? No, no, go to the middle, middle of your screen. All right, you see where the magnifying glass is? Yeah. All right, go over to the right, one more, one more, one more. Click that button. Now click the next one next to it. Perfect. That's how you shift. We always want to work with our screen in the middle. Never work with your screen all the way to the right hand side. Okay, so uh, EuroCAD, let's figure out what happened. Also, right click on your chart real quick. Go to grid and click grid. Okay, click on grid. Let's just mute everyone out except for Jane, you the only one I'm not gonna mute out. All right, Jane, you still with me? Yes. Perfect. All right, so the reason why I like to eliminate the grids because everything else is just a distraction. Okay, when you have a distraction on your chart, what happens is you start looking at everything else except for price. Okay, so let's figure out how we can get you out of this trade, even if we're gonna get you to break even. All right, you're down. Um, where's your entry? You might have to put the grid, put the grids back on. I'm gonna show you something. Actually, right click, go to properties at the bottom. Okay. Now you wanna click on um all right, your grid. See where it says grid? That's it's black. Perfect. All right, you got that. Um I wanna find out how come I can't see your entry unless it's way at the bottom. <laughs> Hit okay. All right, now click on the four hour chart. There we go. Perfect, there we go. Now I can see your entry. Now shift your chart, hit the, the, uh, the arrow that you did before. Yep, shift your chart over. Perfect. You see that little black uh, triangle? Right, right here. there. Yep, grab it and drag it to the left. There we go. We want to try to get your chart to the middle of the screen as possible. There we go. That's good. Perfect. All right. So we see your order. Now, you see that candle on the top, the pink one that has that long wick? Right yes. Here. Put a horizontal line right at that wick. 
The wick is telling you that the market is reversing, going into the opposite direction. Now put it at the close of the candle, at the purple part. Yeah. Right here? Yep, right there. Yep, just bring it up just a little bit, double click. Okay, double click. Yeah, now drag it up to the top of the candle, to the top of the uh, purple right there. Perfect. Now, that right there, it shows me where the market closed at. I don't care about the wick. The wick just shows me how far the market went up. Okay, we want to know where the market closed at. Okay, so now look what look at the reaction of the current day's candle. All right, the current candle is the one that's forming right now, correct? Yeah. Okay, so if you look at the current candle, what did it do? It went right back up to that red line and had a reaction. And what was that reaction? Um, I'm drawing a blank. Okay, that reaction, the market dropped down. Okay, you see how that, you see, you notice how the, when it's something fancy, sorry. No, 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 no. It's, it's never anything fancy. It's always the most simple thing that you can even think about. Okay, yeah. The market, I want you to look at it like this. If you were in your, in your car right now and you throw your hands up to the ceiling, you're going to have a reaction because you can't break through your ceiling. Your hands are going to go up. Reaction is your hands are going to come right back down. And that's what the market did. That's a resistance zone. Now, I want to show you another. If you look all the way to the left, there's a pink candle. Okay. Put your mouse on it. No, no, Here? go, over, go over to the right. Go over to the right a little bit. Keep going. Keep going to the right. Keep going. Keep going. I'll tell you stop. Keep going. Keep going. It's a long wick. A long wick. The next it's one. To the pink one? Oh, this there, one right here? There you go. Put a red line right there. Because all I'm focusing on is wicks. The wicks tell a story. It tells you what the market is going to do. Put a red so line. So you want to put a red horizontal line there? Yep, another one. Right at that wick. Okay, perfect. Now I want you to follow. Okay, follow that red line. Notice when the market broke out of that red line, the next candle came back up to retest it and drop back down. At okay. a buy? You talking about this one? No, keep going over one. And then the next one, right there. That candle um, broke it, went back up and retested on the wick, and then dropped all the way down. Okay? Now, okay. look at all the candles going forward. Okay? You have a huge green candle. Put a red line at the base of that one. What we doing right now? Yep, right there, right there. Yep, put a red line right there. Because what we're doing right now is identifying zones. Bring it down a little bit. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. Put it right on the, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now, if you go up to the top, follow this, follow this, it's all the way up to the top. Keep going, keep going. Keep the going. last one. There's a pink candle right there that has a nice wick on it also. This there one right here? Go. Yep, put a red line right there. Watch what happens next. Double click. Okay. Double click. Uh, no worry, you get it. And put it right on the top. Perfect. Now. I'm not using the mouse, that's why. Oh, like I said, treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Get yourself a mouse. It's so much better. Now, what I want to see next, okay, what I want to see next, I want you to grab your Fibonacci. Okay, perfect. Start from the bottom, all the way on the bottom. Nope, go to the wick. Go to the wick. Go to the wick. Yep. Um, and drag it all the way up to the highest candle with the wick on the top. Double click on it. Don't worry, don't worry. you're gonna get it. There you go. Drag it all the way up to the top. Perfect. I wanna see this market. Okay, I wanna see this market come down and give you a minimum of what percentage? You want to see the market come down and give me a minimum of what? 50%. Okay? okay. I want to see this market come down and give you a minimum of 
Okay, you see what a 50% retracement is? Yeah. Put a line right there. Can you imagine, okay, can you imagine, put it right on the 50%, perfect. Notice that 50% is right on the close of the candle. You know, notice right now, Betty, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Okay. Right here. Notice, notice it closed right on the close, not on the wick. That's the 50%. Those are your zones. Knowing where your key levels are is very, very important. Okay. Okay. Key levels are very important because look at the line you just put up right now. Put your mouse on the line you just put up. Go to the left. Go backwards. Look how the market is right there, right there. You see that? Yeah. Notice how the market came down and smacked that line right there. And what was the reaction? What did it do? It went up. It went up. Now follow it coming back down. Okay, there you go. Follow it coming back down and go back up. Go up, no, to the left of the green candle, to the left, right there. Yep. The next candle broke it and came right back down and retest that red line, correct? Yeah. And then it went up, came back down to retest that red line again. And what was the reaction from them? Thank you. So knowing your zones, since we've been on here, hold it, give me one second. Let me just pause the recording. Recording. Perfect. Okay, so since we've been on this webinar, you can see that what the market is currently doing. Um, you know, I want to see this market drop down and close on a current candle. This is the four hour chart. I want to see this market have a reaction and start dropping down, giving you an opportunity to either break even or exit this trade and profit. All right, so minimize your chart just a little bit. Because we want to see how can we get you to break even. Scroll to the right. Where is your order? No, just, yeah, move. Where's your order at, Jane? <laughs> I did you, tell you how many weeks it's been, right? I know. Hit the daily chart. Let's see. We got to find your order. Maybe you came in a little. Hit the daily chart. Where it says D1. I can't. Oh, I see now, uh, shift your chart over. Now, hit the shift button at the top. This one right here? Yeah. Okay, there's your order. Whoa, Jane. Oh, my goodness. You came way, way at the bottom. No, you never, never, never sell at support unless the rules. Okay, what are the rules? And again i got in this weeks ago and this is all because it was um what do you call it again when somebody gives you a trade to get into but yeah i know now a trade setup okay so, oh I my suffer. god now christina christina you're on the line right yeah christina what are the rules to to trading um uh, uh, what is it? Uh, support and resistance. In order to to uh, in order for the market to break out of the zone, the market has to retest how many times? Twice okay. or three, three, three. Exactly, three to four times. Yep. Now, Jane, uh, shift your chart over. Hit the shift button. Okay, how many times do we hit? that support level where your uh, your cell is at. You got the perfect entry in the wrong direction. <laughs> Every trader wants to trade with a wick entry. You got the perfect entry. You've been in this trade more. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 days. There's only 21 trading days in a month. You almost held this trade for a month. Hmm. Okay, but the good news, all right, the good <laughs> news, the good news is, all right, the good news to what you're doing right now, and, and you there can see is this, no good. all right, all right, what I want you to do is go to insert, wow, you got the perfect entry in the wrong direction, you don't, you never sell on the second touch, for the insert indicator, 
Uh, In, yeah, indicator. Go to custom. Go all the way down to zigzag. All right. Go to input. No, colors. Just go to colors. The input, leave it like it is. Colors. Change it to black. No, double click on the blue side, on the blue. Yeah, right. Yeah, anywhere in the blue. Now, hit the arrow, change it to black. Okay. Perfect. Change to. No, 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 no. Oh, my right. bad. Yeah, go back to it. Go to indicate. No, 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 no. Sorry about that. Go on your screen, go to your charts. Just uh, exit out of that. Just click anywhere. Right click. Indicator list. Indicator oh. list. The next one down. Okay. Now go to zigzag. Double click. Go to width. Go to width. Width. No, width. no, no. Yeah, width right there. Double click. And you're going to change it to the third one. We just changed it to beefing it up so this way you can see it. Now hit OK. Now you're gonna be able to see how we're gonna help you and exit this trade. Perfect. Now, this is what I want you to see. Do you see, prior to where the current market is, do you see that huge M? Yeah. Put, put your mouse on it. You talking about this one right here? Well, that's one, and then it turns into a inverted head and shoulder, or a W. Which is right here. Now, yes, now that's an M also. Go to the next one. That's the first. Go up. That's the first leg. Come down. Go up. That's the second leg. Now, I've said this many times, even on the webinar that I had with Raul, Betty, and um, don't tell me. Uh, don't tell me. Van. <laughs> when the, Vanna, yes. When the market. No, no. Go back to the, the last leg of that. They're right there. When the market breaks down, just like that. Now dra drag your mouse all the way down to the bottom. Yep. When the market breaks down, they're going to give you what percentage back? 50%. When the market breaks down, 50%. They're going to give you 50%. You mentioned the third leg, right? So that's what I was counting when you were speaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where would we start that at? Right here? Okay. Look at, um, let's bring, huh? Oh, so let's bring your red line to the bottom of that. Um, grab, double click on your, your red line, the one that's on the bottom. Yeah, that one. Bring it to the, the last point where your price is at, where your entry is at. Double click. Yep, bring it down. Right, right there on that point. Yep. That's one touch. Okay, that's one touch right there. That pivot. If you take it all the way back up, that will be your second touch, right? Yeah. Okay. Where the current, right where the, no, 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 no. Right here. Let me, give me, let's see, how can we do this? Um, you want me to give you uh, control? Yes, yes, yes. There we go. I was looking for that. Um, Once you give me control, I'm placing a whole bunch of buys and sells on your chart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take okay. it. All right, perfect, perfect. Let me know when I'm moving your screen. You're moving it. Perfect, perfect. Right in this zone here, I'm going to show you something. Okay. This is one touch. Okay. Now I'm just going to copy this. Okay. And this will be the second touch. Oops. Come on, copy it. There we go. Here's the second touch right here. Notice on the third touch, it did not come down and touch that zone. Okay? It, it came down just a little bit, but it did not come down to touch that zone. So, Jane, you might have an opportunity to exit this trade, not with a break even, because this market, this is the daily chart, uh, this is Euro yeah. J EuroCAD. You see these wicks that we've been talking about all night? Well, with this this, um, this yeah. wick that's here, I put this right here on the wick. 
Hold on one second, internet is acting up. Right about this area here. So if I switch over to my line charts, you guys will understand why I'm putting a market on these wicks, not on the wicks, but on the candle. So watch what happens when I switch over to the line chart. Okay, you see that? The line chart shows you the close of the market. That's why I'm using not the wicks, but I'm actually using the close of the market. So when I switch over to the candles, look what happened. It throws a wick down here. This is your true support and resistance. Okay, this is your true support and resistance. So what I want to see is, I want to see the market come down around this zone here. Now, that could take some time. Okay, how many pips is that? That is a little over, I can't really, 160 pips. Okay, a little over 160 pips. Now, EuroCAD, that could happen during a London session. That can happen on, on Tuesday, okay? But we will see an, a nice drop in the market. But from your order, okay, from your order, we're gonna show you how much your loss will be. So I'm just gonna grab your order. Okay, we're just gonna grab your order. If I can grab it. That's the stop loss. Come on. Let's grab the price. Okay, so if you look on the right hand side, your total loss would only be. Uh, I can't see it. Let's just put it. Let's just put it here for a second. Like thirty eight dollars. Okay. Yeah. Let's say let's say thirty eight dollars. Okay. Okay, so let's just say $38 would be your total loss. It's better than being $80 to $100 negative. Okay, so rather just sit out and wait now, you're probably saying, okay, so can I just sell on the way down? Well, imagine if, you, if you're already in margin trouble, okay? Jane, that's on your side? That's, that's on your side? The, um... Hold on one second. Imagine if you're already in margin trouble, you can't afford to put any more orders in, even to sell going down. So you just gotta wait it out. So most people ask that, so if you know that the market is dropping, why can't I just put sales going down? Because you don't have enough okay. money in your account to enter another trade. You know, it would be amazing to add another, um, add another sale on the way down, because you can actually break even right in this zone. Okay, you can break even right around this zone here, exit your trade, take a breather, and then just move on to something else. Okay, so um, I just want to cover that, give you an opportunity to learn how you can um, exit your trade. But uh, Jane, thank you for sharing your screen. Um, let's go ahead and um, share. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. You can stop sharing real quick. Uh, How you guys doing? Everybody still with me? Still here, still here. Perfect, I'm still perfect. here. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop your screen, Jane. So here we go, guys. This is basically what happened to what, what Jane has going on right now. All right. So as you can see, the market goes up. Okay, we spoke about this last week. And she entered the trade with the perfect entry but in the wrong direction, okay? It sucks to do that, but then what's worse, holding on to a losing trade or blowing your account? You know, either one is it's, it's bad, holding on to a losing trade, so that's why we put, how much can you afford to lose? You know, that's the question. How, many, how much can you afford to lose? Now, when the market breaks up into this zone, let's say 100 to 200 pips, they're gonna give you 50% back. Okay, they're gonna give you 50% of that trade back. Not because they're nice, okay? Not because they're saying, hey, I like you. Um, I, feel, I feel sorry for your loss. It's because what they're doing is they're picking up more sellers down in this area, okay? We have a ton of sellers down in this area. 
So what they're doing is, how can I pick up more sellers in this area? Okay, so once they pick up sellers that's in this area, okay, now like I said, what if Jane put, them a, put in a new order to sell? She put in a new order to sell, and she's saying this market is gonna keep dropping down. But then as soon as she put in that new order, guess what happens? The market pulls back in the opposite direction. Okay, this is the reason why I don't want you to put in a new order because again, the market will pull back in the opposite direction, okay, because they had more sellers in this zone. So now, after they pull back in the zone, force you to exit your trade or blow your account. Hold on one second, wait for my internet to come back on. Forcing you to exit your trade or blow your account, then they push the market all the way back down. And now you're saying, oh man, it, after it blew, blew my account, I could have just stayed in the trade. No, you couldn't because they forced you out of the trade. So, Jane, now you understand why I don't want you to add another order on top of that selling order? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, what they did next, this was your first entry. Your first entry, number one. Tap number two. Now what the market is going to do next is it's going to pull back up. This is where they caught you at. They caught you on that second entry, on that second tap to support. This is where they caught you at. Now the market is currently right here. What are they doing? For all of the buyers, okay, that was in this, they're giving back 50%. This is where they have you at right now, okay? So what I want to see them do now is bring that market back down Okay, bring that market back down and start making um, lower highs. Okay, start making lower highs, pushing this market to the upside. Okay, pushing this market to the upside. Okay, so now when we go over to the chart, okay, when we go over to the chart to chart your CAD, you will see exactly what I just told you. So if we go over to uh, customs, indicators, let's go over to zigzags. And the reason why I'm using the zigzag is to show you, the zigzag shows you your, uh, your M formation and your W formation. And you can clearly see how the market went up, came down, went up, came down, went up, and they're giving you half of your money back. Guys, I can't make this stuff up. We talk about this over and over and over. Knowing where you are in the market, is the most important thing. That makes sense? Okay, so as you can clearly see right here, the market comes down, boom, market shoots all the way down this time, but the wicks is what we're focusing on. Anytime you see a wick that's being thrown out like this and the market goes up and then the market shoots down past the wick, I want you to just put a horizontal line right at the wick because the next time that market comes back, look what happened. This could have been your entry right here. This could have been your entry to buy, take that market all the way up. All right, so let's take a look at um, Euro JPY. Euro JPY is a trade that everybody has been waiting for this trade to drop. All right, everybody has been waiting for Euro JPY to drop. Now, let's first look at what happened on, um, let me find the date, okay. Let's first look at what happened on, let me just mute you out real quick, Jane. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, perfect. Let's take a look at your JPY. It happened last, <laughs> days of the week. Days of the week, where are you? Days of the week, here we go. Let's figure out, here we go, and let's look at the one hour chart. All right, so last week, Euro JPY, they, they created a nice bearish move to the, to the downside, okay? And this happened last Tuesday, all right? They threw a nice long wick out to the downside, and, and you know, any other trader, they're, they're looking at this and they're saying, okay, here's a wick right here. So what I'm gonna do is, because I focus on the wicks, I'm gonna put a line right here, because I'm not focused on, uh-oh, Guys, can you hear me? Because my internet. No, I think he may have locked. No, he didn't lose internet. He's on mute. Unmute yourself. All right, can you hear me? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. No, my internet is kind of choppy right now. I don't know why, man. It's crazy because, you know, we're spending 
over $130 a month for this stupid internet and it, it shuts down like crazy every, every day and it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So it's uh, the market makers. It's the market makers, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Um, so what I was saying was I put up my, my days of the week, okay? Now, last week, the market threw out this huge move right here. All right, we're on a one-hour time frame. The market threw out this huge move, and then they shot the market back up. But look where they closed at. All I'm focused on is the wicks, the wicks. That's all I'm focusing on because the wicks tell a story. It's not where, how far the market went down, it's where they closed. Because if you look at the Asian session, Asian session is from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. The London session is from 3 a.m. to 12 noon. The New York session is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's not what the market does between those sessions. It's the most important is what the market does or do at 5 p.m., which is the close. Where did the market open and where does it close? That's very important. That's all I focus on, okay? So when I saw this right here, this market threw down a nice little wick right there, I put a line right here. I said, for some reason, I think they want to take it right back to this line. Okay, so the market shot all the way back down. It continued to shooting, shooting all the way down. So most traders, emotional traders, they got in on the sell. Okay, it was a good move. You got in on the trend. Because sometimes they say the trend is your friend until it ends. The trend is your friend until it ends. So if you're in the trade and the market is dropping down, dropping down, dropping down, when do you exit the trade? So when I saw the market pull back like this and it threw out a wick, well, history repeated itself. It did the same thing right here. It did the same thing again. So I said to myself, I am not going to touch this trade until it breaks above this line. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this line to red. I'm not going to touch this trade until it breaks across this line. So notice how the market went up, came back down, and broke this line right here. Now look at the reaction from the bottom of this line. Reaction, the market broke out, came back down. Look at the reaction, it broke. Now, here's my entry. The market came down on Monday, which is actually 5 p.m., is actually Tuesday, came back down. It wasn't until when, until Thursday, I was ready to get into this trade and make something happen. So sit on your hands and wait until the market comes to you. So what I did was, I was able to put in a buy limit. Let's say, you know, we put in a buy limit. Okay. So we put in a buy limit right around this zone. Why am I focused on this area right here? Because I noticed that the market stopped right here. And this is a key level. This is a key level of support or a key level of uh, resistance, depending on the direction that we're in. Okay. You guys follow me? Okay, so once the market breaks this zone here, which was once resistance, it turns into support. Okay, it turns into support. So now, when the market came back up, I want you to look at this. Notice it came up, shot down, but pushed all the way back up. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a line here. I'm going to put a line right around this zone. I'm still in this trade. The market goes up. I'm not even worried about my stop losses below this here. Okay, my stop loss is here. The market goes up. Now, notice that the market goes back up, and now it shoots a huge wick down to the bottom here. I said, oh, man, they're trying, to tell me, they're trying to tell me something. Why did the market shoot all the way down, trapping all of the sellers and pushing them back up? Okay, the market dropped all the way down, trapping all sellers, pushing the market back up. So I said, you know what? I'm going to put a line right here. Come on. Okay. I'm back on. I'm back on. I'm back on. Can you guys hear me? You still with me? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. I can see your pictures. Perfect. 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 All right. So notice what I want to see now is I want to see this market come right back down to this line. Okay. I don't think, me personally, I do not think EuroJPY is dropping down tonight. Okay. I do not think EuroJPY is going to drop down tonight because they have un finished orders to pick up 
I feel that your JPY is going to come down to this zone here, go right back up to this level, okay? You see this wick here? Go right back up to this level, possibly doing a stop hunt to the high. This is what we call a stop hunt. That's all the wicks are. The wicks are stop hunts because most traders like to put their stop losses right above the wicks. So that's what the wicks are. Stop hunts to the high. So I got a feeling that your JPY wants to come down to this zone here, shoot back up for another 60 to 70 pips, okay? Shoot back up for another 60 to 70 pips. And then from there, okay, this is going to be a measured move. From there, I want to see Euro do something like this. It's going to be a measured move. So the original move came down like this. So let's go ahead and measure this. We all know that Euro JPY is going to drop. We all know that USD JPY is going to drop. We all know that CAD JPY is going to drop. But when? I got a feeling with this measured move that I want to see it come to this zone. Okay. Or this zone. And now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to a higher time frame to figure out I'll take profit. Or we could just do something like um, grab our fibs, draw fibs from the high down to the low. Woo! Look at that, baby. Look at that. Okay? Look at this. You, get, you already know what's my favorite fib area, which is the 618. Okay? Right at that 618. I got a feeling this market is going to come right up to that 618. Right now, we're currently at the 50%, okay? We gave you half of your money back. You got a feeling this market is going to come to the 618. My take profit is going to be, okay, the 1.618. So what I can do is I can draw my fib from this low. Here's a fib trick to this high. We're going to find the 1.618, which is right here. Take profit. Let's go to a higher time frame to see what this looks like. I guarantee you it's going to hit a support zone. Let's beef it up a little bit. Okay. So if we go to a higher time frame, remember this was a measured move. You see, this was a measured move from here. We measured from the high down to where the market stopped. Right here. Then all I did was took this. And I want to see the market come to either uh, right around this zone or even to this 618. If it comes here, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. Take profit 618. How many pips is that? 271 pips. On a standard lot size, that's $2,700. On a, uh, a, a 0 0.01, that's, uh, that's $27. On a 0.10, that's $271. Okay? Go to a higher lot size, I mean a higher time frame, and let's see what it looks like. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Right on the freaking wick right on the wick okay we can take this market and put it right here just in case it stops here but throws the wick out here does that make sense unmute yourself if that makes sense Woo! i'm fired up right now hold on hold on you can't unmute i'm gonna unmute everybody guys can you hear me yeah yeah are you fired up yeah yeah i got it betty you with me Okay, I see it. Oh man, I'm telling you. Oh man, guys, I'm Christina, you with me? Christina, you still here? Jane, you still here? Yeah. Woo. Ben, you here? Oh yeah. Nick, talk to me. I'm here. Oh guys, yep. listen, I'm gonna tell you, I sent this invite out to a certain amount of people. I didn't send it, I didn't post this on Facebook. All right, you guys have this, this is exclusive. Now, 
The beauty about this, ooh, draw your trend lines. Look at this. This is gonna be a false breakout, okay? One, two, this is gonna be a false breakout right here. False breakout to the low, market is gonna come back up. Wow, now I'm waiting for my entry. Waiting for my entry. Sell limit is gonna be at the 618. Okay, my sell limit is going to be right at the 618. If the market doesn't come to my 618, it's okay. It's okay. It wasn't meant for me to be in a trade. So I could do something like this. Also, switch over to the line chart. Okay, one, two. We only hit this two times. I told you the market is not ready to drop yet. Okay, I could do something like this. Put a sell stop right here. Okay, I can put a sell stop right here and let the market come down and drop and take me all the way down to where it has to go. Okay, so guys, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for joining this um, special invite. Oh man, and it, this, this has been recorded, so you will get a copy of it um wow this is this is amazing i haven't even shared this with my team yet they should have been on here <laughs> um let me unmute everybody perfect perfect so how you guys feeling you, you, you excited ready to attack the market yeah, you... yeah now if you watch the video that i posted on facebook just now at the end of the video there's a treat is a trade alert set up for you. And you're going to see me place that order on Aussie USD. If Aussie USD, if Euro JPY is dropping, Aussie USD is rising. Okay. So here we go. So I'm looking at Aussie USD to have a take profit around this zone here. Guys, this is an inverted head and shoulder. Left shoulder, the head, right shoulder, looking for this market to go up. Looking for that market to go up like that. Now, you're probably saying, what is the inverted head and shoulder? No worries. I'll show you. Let's go over the desktop. Okay. Let's go over to my desktop so I can show you what an inverted head and shoulder looks like. Inverted head and shoulders come on there we go okay guys here we go here we go inverted head and shoulders so you can see i can't make this stuff up i don't make this stuff up perfect here's your left shoulder right here your head your right shoulder and your target is the next the neckline this is what we call a measured move a measured move. That's one version of the inverted head and shoulder. So many versions of it. Actually, this is what we have right now. Okay, this is what we currently have right now on Aussie USD. Inverted head and shoulder. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, take the market up to the target. Now let's find out, am I shorting myself on a target? Oh man, this group is killing me right now. Okay, left shoulder is right here. Ah, come on guys. How do I put this on mute? Let's find the neckline. Well, the neckline is my target. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna draw from the neckline down to the head. Wow, Aussie is going up further than I thought. Oh my goodness. Wow, okay. So I'm just gonna let this trade ride all the way up to the top then. 162 pips. Go to a high time frame. Yep, that looks about right. That looks about right on Aussie. 162 pips. Bring the 618 retracement. Oh man, we gotta make a lot of money this week, guys. We're gonna make a ton of money this week. Wow. 
Just wanted to show you that. So, how you guys feeling? Talk to me. I'm about to, um, you know, Jane. Oh, feeling, awesome. Awesome. feeling better, feeling better, Jane, knowing that you're going to have an opportunity to get out this trade. Okay. Um, Nick, talk to me. Where are you from? London. All right. So, Nick, um, I'm not sure if I sent the link to you or, you know, uh, did someone else send you the link, link, Nick, or did I send it to you? Hi, Nick. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. I sent you the link, Nick. Oh, sorry. I, someone just sent me the link because I was following you on your Facebook page and all that stuff. Okay. So um, I have um, the financial wisdom with Christine. Okay. These guys. So um, still from London. You, um, it's two in the morning now. It's going to be good for me to be at this time. Hey, but, <laughs> but think about it. Is so, it worth it? Is it worth it? I, man, I how can I sleep tonight? It's impossible to sleep tonight. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Dude, Nick. Man, so, you're fantastic. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it, Nick. So here's the thing, man. No, you know, no, the one you, thing, the you. one thing that I want everyone to know is that you will never see me flashing money or cars or anything like that. This is what we do. We are traders. Okay, we are traders. Um. Okay, perfect. You want to put my Yes, yeah, we can talk about that. Uh, we can talk about that this week. Um, you know, you just end by, you just text me. We can talk about that. But Nick, um, thank you for joining. Um, you know, Christina, I taught her. I taught Christina um, about. She joined my group, financially fit, about a year ago, and she came in as a scalper. She came in as a scalper, and I just want to let her know, like, yeah, scalping is good when you have a small account. Okay. But the one thing mm -hmm. that we want to do is we want to be able to set it and truly forget it. Okay. Set it. In it. Because when, yeah, you're, when you're scalping the market, what happened? You're babysitting a trade. I don't want to babysit the trade. I don't want to be looking at my chart every five minutes because that turns into analysis paralysis. And what that means is you're going to get, you know, you're going to confuse yourself. Your eyes are going to get paralyzed to seeing something that's not even there anymore. So it's a J-O-B, isn't it? It's a it's a, it's a, it's, it is a job. That's right. So. That's right. So I want to thank all of you for joining. I only sent this, uh, this, this link out to a select few of people, and you guys had the opportunity to be on this. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Now I got to go enjoy my family. <laughs> but don't worry. It, it has, this oh, this has been recorded. It has been recorded. So... Um, just inbox me if you want the uh, recording. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very Perfect. much, my friends. Thank All you. right. All right. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. See you soon, guys. Cheers.